Hi guys, it's Riley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. If you want to subscribe, feel free to subscribe and let's get on with the video. So today we are going to be talking about Leah Marie Johnson because she has posted a series of live streams on her Instagram and it had fans very worried and very concerned about her safety. So I'm just going to address it. Something like this happened back in May of 2019 it was the same situation where she was posting live streams and people noticed that she wasn't really acting herself she wasn't really act acting okay people were assuming and alleging that she was either on drugs or she has some type of mental illness for her to act that type of way because it was very concerning and it was very scary and people were very concerned about her health and her safety during that time but then it seemed like she got out of it and it seemed like she recovered and now it's kind of happening again but it's kind of different she has been posting live streams where she isn't really acting okay it appears and people are assuming again that she is either on drugs or she has some type of mental illness that's making her act this way and one instance really concerned a lot of people she was on a live stream and she had a red solo cup and she was drinking it periodically and you know there was a song playing in the background and there was a guy like right next to her and he was allegedly groping her in this video they were like making out like I couldn't really make out what was going on but apparently allegedly he was groping her and he was allegedly making out with her and people noticed that and then in the live stream he asked her he's like oh like is this on Instagram like are you on live and she was like no no no, no I'm not on live and he was like tell me the truth like it would be bad if we were on live and I think that's what concerned people because people were like, why would it be bad if you guys were on live together, you know? The All thing, the planes going, no, tell the, me the truth. The people did their investigative research as people do and they found out that this man that was in her live stream, he is either a photographer or her producer because as you guys know, Leah Marie Johnson, she makes music. That's like her career at the moment. So obviously she has a photographer, obviously she has a producer and people think that this man is allegedly that and allegedly this man people think that it is. He's like 40 years old, maybe like 50 years old. I'm not too sure how old he is, but Anyways, he's twice the age as Leah because Leah is 23 years old and people are saying that he is a predator, you know, not okay and he's taking advantage of a young girl. If you watch the video, you can see that she isn't really coherent. She doesn't really know what's going on. Like she's drinking. I don't know what she's drinking, but she's drinking something. She isn't there and it looked like it appeared that he was taking advantage of her, but who knows? So that had a lot of people worried. So then people started calling the cops. People started calling the police police like to her house because you know she was on live and a lot of people were watching it and people started to notice that this situation is not okay so they called the cops and then that got her very very angry and very mad because she didn't want the cops at her house because she thinks that you know nothing is going on she's like I'm okay don't call the cops and she said it in a very aggressive tone I'll put the clip in so you guys know what I'm talking about you know what all of you do not send the police from my address. No. These people are so right here are the ones that are mo I need this not to go out because I need my work. Please turn it off. I just wanna be left alone and I wanna be left alone for a long time. So I'm doing my show at Selma. And then I'm probably going to go off for a couple of years. So, 2020 doesn't really exist for me. I hope everyone enjoys their lives. I'm sorry that I worried everyone. Please, please, please stop calling. Please, please, please stop calling. Please leave me alone because all I want to do is be in love. So, and that's all I want. So, 
can everyone please leave me alone and how she doesn't want like any help like she doesn't want anyone to help her she doesn't want anything like she just wants to be left alone and that is like also very concerning and i hope she has people around her i just want her to have someone with her to just help her in whatever she's going through and whatever is going on but at the same time like she is 23 years old you know um she's old enough to make her own decisions herself and if this is what she wants for herself then this is what she wants for herself you know but the decisions she is making for herself it appears that it's not really good decisions and that's why it has the internet very worried about her and drama alert actually covered he said an anonymous source reached out to me from la who was close to leah marie johnson and said the poor girl was diagnosed with schizophrenia claims when the girl mixes her meds with alcohol you get what we all see source was in tears and heartbroken over this during her live stream she was on medication for schizophrenia and then she was also drinking alcohol and then when you mix the two together that's what happens we all you know when you watch the live you can see what happens and a lot of people are I don't know they're just really concerned and really worried about her safety at this point because she's hanging around with a guy twice her age and it appears that he's taking advantage of her so it has pe a lot of people worried and a lot of people concerned and especially when you bring that out publicly of course if some if someone sees something that looks concerning they're gonna call the cops they're gonna ask they're gonna call for a wellness check on this person you know that is the right thing to do if you see someone who might be in danger i just hope that she gets better i hope that she surrounds herself with people who care about her and that love her and like I said, she's old enough to make her own decisions for herself. Seems like the choices that she is making are not the best ones. That's pretty much all I have to say about this situation. So like this video. If you like this video, subscribe if you want more content from me. And I'll see you guys whenever I see you guys. Bye guys. Love you.